What's a peaceful place for you? A seat on the sand by the ocean? A perch overlooking a mountain stream? The late night tranquility of a quiet house? As the first Christmas approached, an oppressive darkness influenced all levels of society as the evil Roman Empire marched forward, overpowering all in its path. Hope was dwindling, joy was rare, and peace seemed unattainable. An angel had already appeared to the shepherds, Luke chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. In a white shining presence known as the Shekinah, the visible expression of the presence of God similar to that at the burning bush, in the pillar of fire and cloud that guided it in the desert, at the Mount of Transfiguration, and when Jesus appeared to Saul. And then in verses 13 to 14, we see a gathering of angels. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. The fourth candle of Advent, purple again, symbolizes peace. It's referenced as the angel's candle in remembrance of their proclamation of peace on earth with the birth of Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Just as the people of Israel longed for peace, we desperately need Jesus' peace today. He gives a peace that doesn't increase or decrease with our circumstances. It's a constant sense of contentment despite what is happening in the world. When lighting the fourth candle, let's ponder the unexplainable peace Jesus gives us through the gift of his salvation and his presence with us. Even facing the uncertainty in our world, we do not face it alone, but we face it with the peace that Jesus provides.